Hi guys, my name's Marina Porter and I'm an army doctor. I'm currently um, posted in Estonia. Um, and it is getting colder and snowier here, the nights are drawing in, and it is bonfire night coming up soon. Um, and I wonder what life is like for you at the moment and what your faith might be looking like at the moment. Do you feel like your faith and the things that you're seeing around you and the way that God is moving around you, is it like a firework? Are you almost having to put no effort in for to, um, to see the Lord do amazing things? Are you seeing people, seeing the cogs turn and for them realizing for the first time who Jesus really is? And or are you actually feeling really alone? Are you feeling like your faith is a damp squib at the moment? Or where it's kind of drizzling, it's all a bit cold, everyone's waiting around for the fireworks to happen striking a match, striking another one, and it's just fizzling out, and no matter what you try, it feels like nothing's happening, and it feels like God's really absent, um, and you feel really alone. Um, and there may be some of you that actually it's pouring down, and you're just not even attempting to go there, because there's just so much else going on that it's hard to even see where God is at the moment, or, or what you're supposed to be trying to do. Um, and I think from my experience at the moment, uh, where, I'm at, where, where I am, um, it is exciting actually seeing seeing what God is doing but I've realized that the absolute key to that is not being alone in your faith and having other people with you um, and I actually don't think we're designed to be alone in our faith so this verse from Ecclesiastes came to mind and it feels particularly relevant for me having just come back from exercise um, Ecclesiastes 4 verse 9 to 12 two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor if either one of them falls down one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Um, and I just wanted to encourage you that wherever you are in the world, whether there are Christians with you or not, you aren't alone, firstly. Um, you've got FQ and the Lord is with you but also not to pass up this opportunity to be in community with your faith, even from a distance. Issachar is a great opportunity for mentoring and having experienced mentoring um, through the 24 program with AFQ um, a year or so ago. It was so encouraging to have someone challenging me to pray, to, someone to pray with me, someone to be accountable to, and also someone to encourage me when things were really hard. Um, so yeah, I really hope you consider Issachar and um, signing up for a mentor. Um, and look forward to not being alone in your faith or in your environment and look forward to seeing what God's going to do with that.